Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. We are trying to practice factorials and permutations. We have a question here to solve. We need to solve for n if n p4 divided by n minus 1 p4 equals to 5 over 3, where n is greater than 4. In general, the formula for n p r is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Correct? You can always pause the video, use this formula, solve the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin by expanding numerator and denominator. NP4 really means n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times n minus 4. So at this stage, we should stop and write factorial since we'll get the same term in the denominator, right? divided by n minus 4 factorial. So that will eventually cancel off. In the denominator, we'll start with n minus 1. And then we'll take away 1. So n minus 1 minus 1. Right. So, so I'm sorry. First term will be n minus 1. The second term will be n minus 2. Third term will be n minus 3. Then we have n minus 4. We have to take four terms, one, two, three, four. In the denominator, the fifth term will be something which is going to cancel, correct? Which will be n minus five, so we'll stop here. Here what we have here is n minus one minus four factorial. Is that clear? So if we have n p four, we're talking about four terms, correct? We are talking about four. So one, two, three, four, which remains. Fifth gets cancelled. Do you see that? Here also, we are talking about four terms. Fifth gets cancelled. One, two, three, four. The fifth gets cancelled. So in all, you'll always have same number of uh, factors here as the R value. Is it okay? Now this is equal to 5 over 3. Now let us see what else can be cancelled off. So what we observe here is that n minus 1, n minus 1 can be cancelled. n minus 2, n, n minus 3 also gets cancelled. So what we get here is n times, so nothing else in the numerator. And in the denominator, we have n minus 4. Do you see that? n minus 4 is equal to 5 over 3. Now, when we cancel all these terms, we are sure since n is greater than 0, none of them is 0, correct? None of them is 0. It's, that is why we, we are cancelling them. None of these terms is 0. Okay. So we get n over n minus 5 equals to 5 over 3. Now we can cross multiply. We get 3n equals to 5 times n minus 4. Solve this equation for n, correct? So we'll do this on the right side. So we have 3n equals to 5 times n minus 5 times 4, which is 20. Bringing 20 to this side gives us 5n minus 3n, which is 2n equals to 20, or n equals to 20 divided by 2. So we get n equals to 10. So our answer is n equals to 10, right? So I hope the steps are clear. Uh, we'll have a few more practice questions to get used to NPR. Thanks for watching. If you like, they'll be great. Feel free to comment and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.